YouTube land. My name is Wildboy5699 and welcome to this update video of uh, me talking about giving you guys an update on my mental and physical health. Uh, I do have some good things that I wanted to talk about. So, uh, like I said, this is an update video of me talking about update, giving you guys an update on my mental and physical health. Uh, as for my mental health, uh, it's getting really, really, it's getting, it's doing a lot better. I have been, have, I've had less nights, not as many nights as having panic attacks or anxiety attacks, staying up all night, sleeping, sleeping, Staying up late till one o'clock in the morning, sleeping until almost noon after night. I've been go trying to get. I've been having a water in my bed. I've been going to bed around eight thirty, nine o'clock. Sometimes ten o'clock at night. I'm getting up by eight thirty, nine o'clock in the morning. So I'm getting good rest, waking up early, being more active. So that's really good for that. I've been I've been been laying off really good. So I've been drinking sprites here and there. I've been drinking water and Gatorade a lot. So that's really good. We're, we've been having not much caffeine on there, but I still need sugar. So I've been drinking Sprite here now and there. I think I had one soda when I went to Outback on New Year's Eve, and that was like a Dr Pepper, because I needed because I, I was like my reward or whatever for going at least like six, seven, eight days without a soda. So I haven't had a Mountain Dew, a Coke, or Dr Pepper since since when I had to go to the hospital, since I went to Outback like that. So, like I said, I've been drinking water, Gatorade, and Sprite here and here and there. So, like I said, my mental health is doing, it's doing pretty good. I still have nights where I have anxiety and panic attacks, but it's not as bad as it is like almost every night, not going to bed till at least 1 or 2 o'clock in the morning. Like, at least for the past few, every night for the past week, I've been going to bed at least by 9, 30, 10 o'clock at night. I've been getting up at, at least by, what is it, 8, 30, 9 o'clock in the morning. So, I'm at least getting over 12, at least getting... A good night's rest so that's pretty good with that and i have my dog sleeping in here almost every night with me so that helps a lot too after physical health i gained 10 pounds the last after i got to the hospital somewhere between december 21st up until january 9th i gained at least 10 pounds i was a one like 141 and now i weigh 150 pounds so that's i don't know if that's a good thing or bad thing getting weight because i don't want to be fat obviously i'm not fat or i don't have a weight problem I only because like i'm a check i had an appointment on january 9th so i weigh 150 pounds when I when I went to the doctor, so I don't know how I don't know how much I weigh right at this very moment, but I'm gonna win. It was 150 pounds, so I am gaining weight. So that is a good, also a good thing. I'm trying to eat trying to eat better, laying off fast food and all that too. So I've been doing a lot better ever since I stopped drinking soda. My pimples and all that, my act bad acne has been going away, so I have more clear skin. I actually shaved this morning as well. After as you can tell, my hair's a little bit wet because I got out of the shower and I shaved. So shaving always makes me feel a little better because I hate having facial hair as well. But uh, what else do I want to talk about? As for therapy and all that, I'm still looking for a therapist. Uh, but uh, we, I have, they have a counselor here at the school that they're gonna help. They're, they're gonna want me to go see. And uh, for a therapist or psychiatrist, we still haven't found one yet. We have one person in mind, and I do need to give them, to give the doctor's office a call back as soon as I can. And every Friday and Saturday night, it is actually Friday afternoon. I'm actually recording this at uh, 1:20 in the afternoon. I'm actually going roller skating tonight. I'm, I'm I'll be 21 in May, so I'll be going to the club and all that once I turn 21. So I'm just hanging in there off the edge. So. And then for updates, you know, other, there's pretty much updates, you know, what Let's Play is coming out. I've been doing a, uh, been doing a lot of Grand Theft Auto videos. Uh, my bandy cam's been acting up lately. I've been trying to get OBS software, gaming software, or recording software to do that and see if I can get that a try. If bandy can still screw some. I still have the two Let's Plays in mind I want to do. I have, still have Honey Pop 2. I want to do a Let's Play series. That one comes out, and I also want to do Emily's Away 3. So those are two Let's Plays I have been, I'm going to be doing when they first two come out. I've been doing Grand Theft Auto Vice City. I may do Grand Theft Auto 3 and Grand Theft Auto Vice uh, Cinema. So I'm still, I'm still have a couple of things. I still want to bring back Spir the Spiral Scouts. I also want to do Rock Hard Mode on Honey Camp Studio. Uh, try to do one more episode of Monster Girls, I Monster Girl Island as well. So I have a couple of Let's Play series. I do have a couple of mine. You know, with Honey Pop Two and Emily is Away Three are the two major ones. I'm wa I'm waiting for them to come out. Because so Kyle Sealy, the developer of Emily's Away Three, he said that Emily's Away Three should be sometime released in May because it got delayed to May. To, to got delayed. It was supposed to be released last year. Same with Honey Pop Two, but when he gave an update, he was still working on that last chapter. So I don't know how many chapters there are going to be as be in Emily's Away Three and Honey Pop Two. And he released a gameplay trailer. Uh, you did see my episode of Wild Blue Rex was the last video I posted, and that game looks very really promising. I'm looking forward to that, so I'm definitely going to be doing a gameplay of that. Was well, I wish I'm not going to get it on Steam because if I do get it on Steam, there's a good chance that the game will be sent. Some of you are going to get it on Honey Pop on the Honey Pop website or Humble Bumble, Hun Pumble Bundle. I don't know how, how you say that, but um, I am going to get Honey Pop too, one way or another when the game comes out. So I'm hopefully it doesn't come. Hopefully he um. 
99.9% sure it's going to come out this year, but I hope it does not get delayed or pushed back again to next year. Because, well, like I said, it was supposed to be released in 2018, and then it got pushed back to 2019. He, a teaser trailer came out in 2019, and then no game in 20, by January 1st, but, you know, he did release a gameplay trailer, so he is work in progress. The game looks very, very promising. I'm looking forward to that as well. But like I said, my mental health was doing my mental health was doing a lot better. I gained at least 10 pounds uh, after somewhere between, for my physical health. Like everything, everything's doing a lot better with my giving it doing a lot better for me. So not as bad anxiety attacks. Been laying up soda, drinks, and all that. I've been drinking water, Gatorade, Sprite here and there. So everything's doing everything's doing a good for me as of right now so far. But anyway, that's pretty much it for this update on my mental and physical health. I don't know if it's gonna be around like Wild Boy or just an update on my mental and physical health because that's what I mainly do but anyway that's pretty much it for this video thank you guys a lot for watching if you enjoyed make sure you give a thumbs up comment subscribe check out my social medias down below as always thank you guys a lot for watching i'll see you all in a future video take it easy